much attention to it because then I knew to say, look, these are lies that uh, they cannot hold water. <coughs> now, yesterday when I saw that document, I mean, I've got an image to protect, I've got a name to protect. I realized to say this lie has been going on for quite some time and uh, that two Zambian citizens that both lost an election in Lumezi, that's Zeli Pachisolo and uh, McDonald Piri. These are the people that I beat in an election. In fact, I beat uh, Zeli Pachisolo with more than 10,000 votes. She came out fifth. Mm. I was the first. PF were the second. UPND were third, and that's McDonald. Fourth was another independent, uh, Mr. Mvula. Mm. Then fifth was Zeli Pachisolo. Now, when I beat all these guys in an election, they decided to petition the election result. Mm. They took us to the Chipata High Court. In their pleadings, they said, I do not possess a great hope. Mm. All right? In the wisdom of my legal team, they said, look, <clears throat> they've raised an issue of a great 12, which ordinarily mm. should have been raised during the period of filing in of nominations, because that's what the Constitution has provided mm. for. I file in my nominations, challenge my nomination. You have the seven days, and then within 21 days, the matter should be heard. So my legal team advised that just in case things turn otherwise, can we put it on record? So we got my great hope, uh, certificate that is, mm. equally got the confirmation letter that I got from the Examination Council of Zambia and placed it on record of before court. Now, their grounds for the petition fell off because what they were trying to purport to be my great hope was not my great hope. Instead, we showed them my great hope. When they lost in the Chipata High Court, they came to the Concord, quite all right. Yesterday, slightly after Honorable John Malange's seat was nullified, that story went viral on social media. Again, with the same pages that were running the story, Zambian watchdog, Causeway. I said, look, I know the people running around with this uh, uh, nonsense. What's the best way for me to sort it out, because there is forgery here. My character is being defamed, and it's not my fault that uh, I was quite privileged that my parents could take me to a school where I would pay for Cambridge. It's not my fault. It's not my fault that um, uh, they did the local exams. Mm. And trying to bring in my situation to Honorable Malanges is another madness. Because in the High Court, I produced my great hope. And uh, it's on record. For Honorable Malangi, they didn't plead for his great hope. For me, it was pleaded for. That's the reason why I went to place it on record. Beyond that, McDonald and Zeli Pachisulo, <coughs> early this year, had gone to force headquarters to report me for having a fake great hope. The officers from uh, headquarters, where Mr. Ray Hemonga says it's only for administrative purposes, had gone to the Electoral Commission of Zambia asking for my documents that I used to file in my nomination. They were very excited. I remember it was on a Friday, the outgoing executive director called me to the Electoral Commission of Zambia, and that was the first time I went there. Mm. He says, look, crime one is here. They're asking for your documents. I said, look, it's very simple. Give it to them. Mm. If they're not uh, satisfied with the documents you are giving them, which are used for filing in of my nomination, kindly ask them to go to British Council, which is behind Radisson Blue Hotel on Greatest Road. If they're not satisfied, permit them to go to the British Embassy to help them retrieve my documents from University of Cambridge. Beyond that, let them go to Lisef on Burma Road to retrieve my documents. I don't need to give it to them. Mm. They were excited thinking I had a crime. They were disappointed. 
only to find its original documents. And for you to ask for a document, uh, your certificate to come back from University of Cambridge, I've misplaced my certificates before. I pay 80 pounds for it to come all the way from UK. And then you have people scandalizing your name. You report them to the police. The police are telling you it's a sensitive matter. What's so sensitive about someone who is fabricating government documents? I'm not a product of uh, local results. I'm not. And it's not my fault that my, fa my parents could afford to take me to such schools. And uh, 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 with this uh, seed being planted where people can manufacture and fabricate documents, even my children in the future, I would rather they educated abroad than here. You can imagine if mm. I was a product of uh, Examination Council of Zambia, people would have entered their system and cooked up uh, documents that don't even exist. UPND cadres have reported a lot of citizens in this country to different police stations. We've seen Shimbakambili being transported to, is it Kasama? Mm -hmm. Chilifiatali transported to Western Province. Uh, Nakachinda transported to Northwestern Province. Mumbipiri trans, uh, transported to Western Province. Uh, Chilekwa transported to Western Province. Me, my statement was ably recorded at Charleston Police earlier in the day. The moment I said losing UPND candidate, no uh, honorable member, just excuse us for a few minutes, we consult. I did that. Ten minutes down the line, I was called back by the officers. Mm. No, we've consulted. Your matter is sensitive. My matter is sensitive when there is a crime that has been committed. No, we can advise you because since your matter is in court, I said there is no matter in court to do with a forged document. There is no matter before court dealing with my great hope. Can you show us your great hope? I said, here, get it. So where is the problem? Someone has forged a document. I've left a copy there at the Charleston Police Station. I go to, to, to force headquarters. I'm told it's lunchtime. The next story we were told was go to Lusaka Central. Now, I said, am I a pendulum? Why well, you just told me, boom, 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 boom. We did those things in physics. And then today someone should tell me, go to central police. I said, look, I've put my case across. The selective application of the law is visible. Extremely visible. The names you've just um, single-picked, uh, the two names, Honorable Mnyazulu. Uh, how do you know that those are the people that are behind the, the, what you perceive as a propaganda, uh, you know, uh, crusade? It's not even, for me, it's cheap propaganda. Mm. First of all, they've appeared on this platform before, mm. especially Zeli Pachisulu has been on this platform before. She's been on KBN television before with the same story. But I gave it a blind eye because I know why she behaves in that particular fashion. Mm. Um, she's been bitter for so long in her life and she thought if she could defeat me on the ballot maybe that would have given her a smile unfortunately even the ballot rejected her when she took me to the high court she lost the, uh, the high court uh, petition what does she do? She decides to run a smear campaign with the losing UPND candidate, McDonald Piri. Now, I'm human. For how long are you going to scandalize my name? And I'm quiet. Um, first, first of all, that which we must uh, learn to accept is that for me to be where I am, I've fought so many battles. I've lost some. But I've conquered quite a lot. Okay. I've got a thick skin. And anyone that thinks that uh, I'm a pushover should think twice. I've been followed twice. I was visiting a friend in Roma on uh, Lucasu Road. Um, on this particular day, the friend I was visiting, uh, the friend I was visiting had 
quite a lot of guests in his yard. So I chose to park outside. Fortunately, the yard had CCTV surveillance. The guards came running to call me from outside the yard. The people that are trying to tamper with your vehicle. Fortunately, we captured the number plate. That was on Saturday, 7th May, 2022. The number plate of this vehicle was BAP 4611. Mm. Sorry, BAP 4711. This happened at 1945 on Thursday, 14th April, 2022. On Saturday, 7th May, 2022, at 2040 hours, mm. Because the next day, I remember, I was going to Central Province. So I decided to stop over by what you call Stariro on Great East Road. There is a pharmacy that closes late. Mm. I needed to buy the vitamin Cs, azithromycins, in case we were exposed to COVID in the bush. Mm. Only to find <laughs> BAP 4611. Same vehicle, same color, but the difference is one is BAP 4711. The other one is BAP 4611. Then I realized to say, I'm being trapped. What did I do on that particular day? I called Ray Hamong. I gave him these number plates. I said, what is happening? Am I a threat of some sort? Ray Hamonga, I even asked Ray Hamonga, are you in the position to give me the nearest numbers of a police station we can call when we're under such threats? Until to date, Ray Hamonga never got back to me. And why didn't you report it, the, the, the matter to the police? Besides talking to Ray Amonga, uh, why didn't you take a step further to go and report the matter to the police? I can confirm these number plates don't exist. Mm. Look, I'm not as naive as some sect of...